got to turn the mic on. <laughs> Good morning, Twitch. Good morning, Twitch. Good morning, Twitch, on this 05.08.2023. Current time is uh, 0535 a.m. Eastern time here in upstate New York, the southern tier of upstate New York, where I live and reside. Rich Roberts, Fireman Rich here on... Uh, on the Twitch at Fireman Rich over there on Twitter, and I'm trying to change the category, but it, what the hell is going on there? Just chatting. Thank you, Chris. Chris Technician is in the uh, chat there. How come it doesn't have? Oh, there it is. Now I'm done. Okay, now it should be. Okay, there it is. I just changed it. I, I got to scroll down a little bit further. Good morning, Chris Technician in the chat. Yes, I changed the category. Just gonna make sure I change that on the in the thing there as far as that goes. Um, and we are getting our day started. We are starting on a Monday, and uh, we are uh, um, we've got the morning coffee with the teaspoon of cocoa. So we're starting a week off right. And you're probably saying, "Why the hell are you up so early, Fireman Rich?" And uh, good. There you go. Good thing. I, I would have caught it. it just uh, just rushing around. I was playing too much Lord of the Rings online this weekend. That stuff. That's that's. I changed the title this morning. I just forgot that extra step there. But uh, you're saying, why the hell are you doing up so early this morning? And I would say, it's because <laughs> um, I want to be up. <laughs> and uh, I'm just enjoying life. So. Uh, we don't have the chat in there. I'll have to check that out. Um, but I'm monitoring the. Uh, I got this new thing. I'm monitoring the uh, CP uh, the uh, baud rate. I'm at 24, 2500 uh, baud rate, so which is excellent. Okay, I think that's a lot better than what I had before. I think I was barely getting over uh, 15, 1600 or something like that. Um, at 30 frames per second, I. I ventured into the realm of going to 60 frames per second uh, as far as that goes and uh, uh, what is it uh, it was interesting it was very interesting uh, Saturday I did some uh, Lord of the Rings online gameplay and uh, it was interesting um, I had uh, 60 frames per second and uh, what is it the, uh, uh, the game was at the ultra high you have low medium high very high and ultra high and the game bugged out it disconnected twice I was able to slap it together and using movie maker as far as to put it posted up on rumble and YouTube I was going to ask how's your CPU rate but I'm keep Forgetting, I don't know. No, you don't have to ask me anymore. CPU rate's great. It's 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 at 0 0.1, 0.2. So it's um, and even when I had it at the high frame per second, I think I had the highest CPU rate I had was maybe two, two percent. So, you know, it's just having that extra 32 gig of having 32 gig of RAM um, really does the trick, I guess, as far as and uh, keeps it cool too. But the game was was the the. It was eye candy. Hey, Tony. Salute to you, sir. Hashtag positive start to the day. Hashtag PSTTD. The missus is still uh, in the, in uh, sleeping. And um, so uh, it was something different. So yesterday was I, I did an hour's worth of um, um, Lord of the Rings online. I brought it down to 30, PS, or 30 frames per second. But I didn't go from, I went from ultra to very high. I think that's a sweet spot because it looked good. It looked. It, there was, I don't think there was really that much difference between that and uh, and the the 60 frames per second. 30 frames per second is is great. So uh, um, so um, that was fun. I, I did quite a bit of. Um, um, I think I I had like close to two and a half hours this weekend on Lord of the Rings, and then I did a Sunday morning broadcast yesterday, which uh, uh, coffee broadcast basically. And uh, as far as that goes, and uh, and I had just just prior to that, I've been watching somebody, and uh, I don't know if you heard the news, but there's a certain individual that's been banned again from Twitch here, 
And um, I, I said, really? I just I just was watching the individual like, you know, maybe 15, 20 minutes before I started yesterday. I wasn't going to go on. I said, ah, let's go on because I was just getting down. And um, But uh, our good friend uh, Randy W. Horton, uh, he got uh, he got tagged for something. And is um, I was just watching him. He was on YouTube here earlier. Uh, good morning, Tim Fan. Good morning, uh, Jeeves. Good morning. Good good to see you guys here. Hope you all had a great weekend. So yeah, uh, he uh, just uh, passed the word that uh, uh, put your notifications on for Randy W. Horton because he's he's over for the next thirty days. He'll be on uh, uh, YouTube. It looks like, and uh, so I was a little surprised at that. And uh, so, uh, but then again, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Okay, um, you got to be be careful as a broadcaster. You you have a responsibility. You can you can sh you can schluss it off or slide it off as it wasn't it wasn't my fault and play the victim and stuff. No, it's your responsibility. You should be aware at all times. You know, especially um, in this day and age of um, you know we get the people that try and trap you. And I think that was the case again with Randy. Somebody trapped him in the, the into the. Uh, um, into the thing he was and he should have blocked him and deleted the guy so that that's why I have a zero tolerance if there's any indication the guy's getting deleted and stuff like that so uh, um, as far as trolls it's, uh, and you guys you guys help me out there uh, Chris Jeeves uh, Tim Fan and uh, Tony you guys uh, you know you guys uh, I've known you guys for quite a while you guys are vetted and credible so if you say hey this guy's no I'm the freaking guy so you're sort of my unofficial mods and stuff. I don't really have that much uh, to do on the stream where I can't take care of it myself. But I really appreciate the input and stuff. And then I'm learning from, you know, Randy's experience. It, it, I'm learning from it and stuff like that. So, uh, um, you know, it just uh, one of those things that uh, he just let his guard down. And it, I think it's been over a year since he was banned before. So it's not his first, first rodeo there as far as that goes. But uh, I, I was just surprised when Double J's told me and stuff. And I said, I just was watching them. You know, just as we were coming on yesterday. I said, I just was watching them like five minutes ago. <laughs> and so if I'll be happy to take care. Of yeah, just point them out. You know, I don't need any mods and stuff like that. I'm not really, you know, Randy, he has a lot of people in and out. Of, so um, he has some very good mods. And uh, as far as on his broadcast and stuff. So he's over on YouTube. So uh, uh, just to pass the word, because I, I'm sure... I think he broadcast on Kick. He's going to try Kick. I think he's going to stay on YouTube for a while, from what he's saying. And Kick is okay, but um, you know, why not take this time to boost her up? He's a partner over on YouTube too. So, uh, and if I remember right, the last time he got he got banned, he uh, it didn't go the full thirty. I think it went two weeks, and they. Um, they brought him back on and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I, and I don't know. I doubt if he's watching this. He probably saw the Twitter notification. But if he's watching Twitch, it's probably uh, uh, in a signed out uh, unless he started. <laughs> I, I don't think he'd want to venture there to start another account and stuff like that. So, but uh, let's see. Currently here in the southern tier of upstate New York, it is 51 degrees Fahrenheit and 10, 10 and a half degrees Celsius. Um, centigrade or whatever there and uh, we got cloudy skies early following by partly cloudy high is 67 winds out of the north by northwest 10 to 15 miles per hour it looks like we've got some overcast out there and uh, the squirrels out my neighbor next door they have these they have this um, the overhang for the roof is this way, and then they have another out building, and right in the corner there, there's a squirrel's nest. I was watching five squirrels running around on top of the roof yesterday morning, as far as that goes, and I don't think there's... Oh, yep, the babies are out. Yep, the two ba the two young ones are out there running around. Oh, my God. This just reminds me so much of being the summers I spent as a kid down in Brooklyn at my grandmother's place. My grandparents' place, and um, I used to sit there and eat my cereal and look out. In the, uh, they were in a upstairs uh, apartment in a brownstone, 
and Brooklyn Avenue end, and um, you could see, I would watch the squirrels. That was my morning entertainment. This reminds me so much of that. Yeah, they're having a party up there, these two little, the two young ones. I think there's a total of three young ones with the, the adults, but they're out there. They haven't come off the roof yet. They're staying right up on the roof right around the nest. There's a little nest right up there and stuff. And it's on this side of the house that the, the neighbors don't really um, pay too much attention to, I guess, and stuff like that because their lawn needs to be mowed. They try mowing it. It's freaking grass is like this thick. <laughs> I mowed a little bit away from the house. Uh, but anyway, um, we, we've got 51 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degree, ten and a half degrees Celsius. Um, sun will be rising this morning at 554 5:54 a.m. That's in about eight minutes. Okay, we're up. We're up earlier than normal here, right? I guess last week I was be, just starting to broadcast here, so um, the sun will be setting at 5:12. Uh, 5:12 p.m. tonight. And let's see. I'm gonna just check. Yeah, I'm just checking the stream. Okay, stream. I don't think I have a problem with my settings um, right at this. This. Uh, uh, at 30 frames per second, and uh, and we're we're the, we're at 720p, so that that's fantastic as far as that goes, and, and stuff. So uh, um, let's see. Uh, but our world times and temperatures they go as follows. You have uh, uh, let's see, you have uh, Honolulu, Hawaii at 11:46 yesterday. Yeah, we're we're right on schedule. <laughs> it's yesterday. Um, 11.47 p.m. yesterday, they're still working towards today. Uh, clear sky, 75 degrees Fahrenheit in um, uh, Phoenix, Arizona, uh, 2.47 a.m. Clear skies, 50, no, 66 degrees Fahrenheit. Albuquerque, New Mexico, we have 3.47 a.m. Um, clear skies, 48 degrees Fahrenheit out in uh Deming, New Mexico, we got 52 degrees Fahrenheit uh, with 87 degrees Fahrenheit for the high. Out in Deming, New Mexico, in Chicago, Illinois, it's 52 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies at 447. In uh, New York City, the jungle at 547, uh, partly cloudy, partly clear, 57 degrees Fahrenheit. Did Tony, I think Tony, did you give me a uh, temperature? Yeah, Tony did. It's uh, 67 degrees uh, Fahrenheit there in um, uh, Robin, Warner Robins, Georgia. Um, 87 for the high and 65 for the low. low mostly, mostly cloudy. Okay. And uh, across the pond in Cork, Ireland, it is at 10:48 a.m. It is uh, cloudy skies. 54 degrees Fahrenheit in. Uh, Milan, Italy, partly sunny, partly cloudy at 11.48 a.m., 66 degrees Fahrenheit. In Riyadh, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, at 12.48 p.m., it's sunny skies, 104. It was 102 when I uh, was just uh, before starting the broadcast here, and um, it just went up two degrees, 104 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot. Uh, in... New Delhi, India, sunny skies at 319, uh, 97 degrees Fahrenheit. In Mumbai, India, uh, 319 p.m. also, 90 degrees Fahrenheit, cloudy skies. And uh, we just went up to 2600 KBS. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, let's see, in Kuala Lumpur, it is uh, sunny at 549 p.m., 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, Manila, Philippines at 5:49 p.m. Also uh, cloudy skies, 88 degrees Fahrenheit in Tokyo, Japan at 6:49 p.m. in the evening. Currently, it's cloudy skies, 59 degrees Fahrenheit, and in down in Melbourne, Australia at 7:49 p.m. Cloudy skies, 55 degrees Fahrenheit, and in Sydney, Australia, 7:49 p.m. Also uh, partly cloudy, partly clear. And it is um, um, 57 degrees Fahrenheit. And those are our world times and temperatures as we speak. And 
as far as that goes. So uh, we're off and running here. Monday, start of a new week for all you working stiffs. <laughs> um, I am really, I, this is coming up, this week will be my first month that I've been away from the job and um, um, I'm starting to get used to it. I have to say last Friday, was it last Friday? Yeah, it was right last Friday after the, the, the uh, broadcast. I was telling, the, and I didn't say anything about this over the weekend. Um, I really had a moment there where I just like, I think I did maybe. Maybe I did say something Friday. But I'm past that now. But, it, you know, it's, just, it's sort of weird that I, I'm standing there and I'm thinking, this is the first time I haven't been associated with any type of work or employment for 50 years. And um, we thought I was 49, but uh, there's, a, there's an extra year. I, I started working when I was 15. Um, you know, part time under the table, a dollar an hour under the table, and um, um, it's just nice to reflect as far as going. I, you can't go back, but it's nice to reflect on that uh, that that travel. So, um, um, but I am enjoying. You know, even though I'm up early, I'm enjoying waking up early. It's a, it's a lot more calmer and relaxed as far as that goes, and uh, it's uh, that's a good thing. Um, another good thing is going into our uh, our thought for the day, and our thought for the, for the day. I thought this actress was an American actress, and I don't. I, I've seen a few of her movies, and uh, the one that stands out is uh, one uh, Fine Lady or something. What was the movie? Um, Tiffany's Breakfast at Tiffany's. That's what it was, and you probably know by that 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 title of a movie you probably know who I'm talking about and that's Audrey Hepburn she's a British actress I thought she was an American actress gorgeous lady gorgeous lady as far as uh, very refined and stuff like that um, but Audrey Hepburn was a British actress and humanitarian recognized his film as a film and fashion icon definitely fashion icon even by today's standards she was uh, ranked by the American Film Institute as um, uh, as a third generation screen legend um, from the classical Hollywood cinema and was introduced into the international best dress list uh, hall of fame. Um, very, very, very pretty lady, I would say, you know, very, and, uh, uh, I, I think I've seen parts of breakfast and Tiffany's and stuff like that, but, uh, we have a good, uh, her quote and our, our thought for the day goes as follows. Um, as you grow older, which I am, <laughs> you discover that you have one, two hands. I got two hands. Uh, one hand to help yourself and the other for helping others, which I think I, in my lifetime I have. I, I have done that as far as help others through my community, uh, through other charitable things as far as I try to be charitable and stuff like that. We should try and help to whatever capacity we can. We can't overextend ourselves and stuff like that. But um, uh, Audrey Hepburn's quote in our thought for the day, as you grow older, you will discover that you have two hands, one for helping yourself, the other is for helping others. So if you can try to help, you know, some people aren't in a position to help. They, they, there's people that definitely need help in this world. And, um, and as far as that goes. And, and nowadays here in the United States, we don't have to look that far. You just look in your local community and there's people that definitely need some help as far as, uh, uh, because, uh, um, and it's always, I think, appreciated, stuff like that. I've seen that firsthand. And I know it firsthand as far as that goes. So, uh, um, you, know, you know, and that help um, in a lot of cases might be with your family your uh, not your immediate family but uh, family members that are outside um, the immediate family and then uh, your friends and your community as a whole as far as that goes so that's a good and that's that that that, that speaks volumes of the uh, um, uh, what Audrey Hepburn was all about I guess too as far as that goes so there we go our thought for the day and uh, quote from Audrey Hepburn yeah, right. Okay, Jesus said right. Yeah, yeah. She. Uh, I didn't realize she was a British actor, act, actress. I thought she was American for some reason. I. And I don't think she had that. What was that noise? Did I hear a noise. 
Oh, Jack is sleeping. I thought I heard a squeak as far as that goes. Well, we, we do have this noise now, this new noise, and I haven't heard it this morning. We hear this outside, and we're saying, what the hell's going on with our, our, our rain gutters? There's a woodpecker. Well, you got the bigger woodpeckers, but this is a smaller one. It's got the red red top, and he's up there eating the bugs <laughs> that are in the gutter. So he's cleaning my gutters for all the bugs there and stuff. It's a food source for him. Uh, let's see. Today is Monday, of course, start of a new week. And um, we have, um, uh, it's May 8th, 2023. It is the 128th day. And have you guys seen the cartoon? No, no, I haven't seen that, Jeeves. No, is that current or is that an old one? I, I know Woody Woodpecker. I used to watch that as a kid. Um, let's see. Let me write that down. Nor, Nori. I'll have to check it out. Is that on YouTube? Nori Woodpecker. Woodpecker. Yeah. Okay. I'll have to check that out. I'll do a Google search after the broadcast here. Um, we are in the 128th day. It is the 19th week, and we're 35% through the day. Yesterday's um, national days weren't all that great, and from what I'm seeing, um, yeah, this, there's one, I guess. Let's see. We have uh, international... Oh, that's not a good one. I don't even want to say that. Don't even want to say that one. Let's see. World Red Cross Day. That's a, that's a pretty good one. Um, we're talking about using that other hand to help. The Red Cross always could always could use a uh, uh, a uh, um, a helping hand. Uh, time to remembrance and reconcile. Yeah, National Women's Checkup Day. Women should. Yeah, National Student Nurse Day. It's an old co cartoon. Okay. Um, we have. I want to go with National Coconut Cream Pie Day, but I like this one better. Um, this is today is National Have a Coke Day. So all you Pepsi drinkers, have a Coke. I like that one. I like. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tweet that one out. I like that. That's I'm a Coke fan. I like Coke. I don't drink it as much as I used to. <laughs> I used to drink Diet Coke a lot. Oh my God! I used to drink it like it was I was going out of style, as far as that goes. But today is uh, National Drink a Coke Day. Let's go ahead and tweet this out. And I'll put the, uh, yesterday wasn't tweet worthy as far as that goes. This one is tweet worthy. Uh, let's see. We got to go. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see. There it goes. And it's hashtag celebrate every day. Um, okay. I'll get some Coke. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> Have a Coke. Uh, where is that? Here we go. Um, National Have a Coke Day. And uh, let's see. And Coke is the best when you get it in a, a glass bottle. Oh my God, that is to die for. We got some of that from the grocery store here a couple months back, several months back. And you know, it, it was the smaller bottles. Put that in the refrigerator. Have one of those. Oh my God. And the Coke tastes differently. I don't know where I heard this, but I had to agree. It tastes different. Maybe it was on Nonsensical Nonsense, Tony. You guys are talking about it. The Coke tastes different if you buy it in the store in, in the definitely from a bottle than it does, say, like at McDonald's. You know, McDonald's, um, I think was it Jeff that was saying something? I think it was Nonsensical Nonsense. Uh, that's a, a show here on Twitch that Jeff, uh, Glick Jeff and uh, Tony D uh, uh, let me see. I mentioned them, so I got their card. Let's see. Hang on for a minute. Hang on, and I'll, I'll continue tweeting it. Another thing is the card. Let's see. I know I have a card for them. Oh, here it is. Nonsensical nonsense. There's there's their Twitter page right there. As far as that goes, Glick from Columbus, Ohio, and then you got Tony D from Warner Drop, uh, uh, Warner Robins down there in Georgia, and then. Uh, Jeff, where's Jeff at? Am I to say he's from Mexico? Have you guys had Mexican Coke? No, I haven't. Is there a difference, Jeeves? And these guys are on Spotify, but that's their Twitter handle. But uh, they were talking, I think, about Coke. Um, 
and somebody was saying it was it, it does taste it, it does still taste like coke but there's a there's a difference from what you buy in the store as far as that. yeah he's in mexico okay jeff's down in mexico okay so so uh i don't know if the is the mexico coke better jeeves you should ask jeff that next uh time you're on the nonsensical nonsense there tony same we were talking about it oh let me get this tweet here out uh, and then give you the skinny on the uh the coke thing um and it's hashtag national have a coke day today okay so that's the, that's what we're going with i like that because there's a good history in coke it's one of the foods let's see it's just coke made in mexico that's all i never heard it but i was just wondering oh okay maybe they have you know you know the real soda you know even pepsi they have the, the actual sugar in it instead of the sugar additive and stuff and i think that's uh that taste there we go there's a picture it's it's hash break celebrate every day as far as that goes but it's hashtag national have a coke day um as far as that goes and what that is is each year on may 8th millions of people across the country celebrate national have a coke day coca-cola often referred to as coke is a carbonated soft drink produced by the coca-cola company down there in georgia that's where uh uh, Tony D is from the original filing date for Coke as a registered trademark of the Coca-Cola company in the United States was March 27th, 1944. But it was it was it was around way before that. Coke uh, as of 2013, Coke distributes products in over 200 countries around the world. As consumers down more than 1.8 million uh, uh, company beverage servings each day. Um, so, um, and it's one of those, uh, products that built America. There's a, there's a, uh, a show on history. It says the food that built, uh, uh, food that may, uh, built America and all that. And it, it, it's a very interesting, it gives you the history background on various food products and like pizza, the pizza wars, the burger wars, um, a whole bunch of things. And the, the soft drink wars. Very, very interesting. Potato chip, you would figure, oh, it's just potato. No, it was cutthroat back in the day. I mean, uh, it was sort of like, uh, it was probably more cutthroat than Apple and, um, and Android and Microsoft, you know, as far as those are the current giants. So uh, um, that's what we're going to go with. Uh, uh, National Drink of Coke Day. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure we're going to have the podcast tomorrow, the, um, the uh, Fireman Rich audio podcast. I might be doing a mixed cloud broadcast tomorrow morning and post that up just to give you a heads up. So um, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll see how the day goes. If I, can. I was going to put something together yesterday, but I didn't uh, as far as that goes. So um, let's see. How's our stream doing? Let's see. We are sitting at 23, 24 kilobytes as far as that goes and uh, we are doing quite fine there okay uh, let's see if not I'll probably be talking about what's in the queue here rare diamond with diamond within a diamond is under earth in India oh that might be interesting to talk about that's been in the queue for a little bit stuff like that um, Let's see, Major League Baseball. I didn't watch any baseball this weekend. I, I, I did watch uh, some of the Jersey, um, the USFL. Now, let's get the baseball scores first. Baseball scores for yesterday. Let's see, we have um, the Blue Jays. Your Blue Jays, uh, Jeeves, they beat the Pirates 10 to 1. And the Phillies beat uh, Chris's, Chris Technician's Red Sox. They lost yesterday. Um, six to one and let's see the Yankees they lost to the Rays yesterday that's not good they're down there in Florida and what did the Mets do what the Mets the Mets aren't playing or what yesterday was a Sunday they always oh there they are oh god they lost to the Rockies 13 to 6 oh my god the New York teams are not doing good at all um, I think the standings the Yankees yeah, you can you can razz me there, Chris. The Yankees are in last place right now. They're freaking ten games. The Red Sox are three, two and a half games ahead. But it's the Rays. Baltimore's up there, in second, and then the Blue Jays are third. 
as far as that goes. And then in the National League, the Mets are still there. The Mets are still holding second place in the division. So, okay, that's good. Um, last week, uh, last Friday, I said something about the DC uh, the uh, the championship for the XFL. I was wrong. It's next next. Uh, it's not this Saturday. It wasn't this past Saturday. It's next Saturday. It's on the thirteenth. Uh, the, the Renegades against the DC Defenders. I think the DC Defenders. I'm still going to pick the DC Defenders. So I still got time to make that bet um, if I get off my butt. But that's going to be down in the uh, Alamo Dome next uh, Saturday at 8 p.m. It's going to be on ABC and ESPN, uh, San Antonio, Texas, as far as the championship and the conclusion of the XFL. I thought, yeah, I thought it was yesterday too. Tom. I thought it was. Uh, I'm thinking, oh, it was Saturday? And I'm looking, it's, oh, wait a minute, the 13th, that's next Saturday. That's next Saturday as far as that goes. So uh, um, uh, in the uh, USFL yesterday, I did watch the Generals play the, um, um, who did they play? The Breakers, and they lost 20 to 17. The Stallions, uh, Birmingham Stallion, there's the champions from last year's uh, USFL first year. They beat the... Um, the uh, Maulers. Saturday you had the Gamblers 41 to 16 over the Philadelphia Stars. Wow. And then the Showboats beat the Michigan Panthers. Panthers are two and two now. So Breakers, they're four and all. They're 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 doing it up. That was some good football. I watched it for about maybe 10, 15 minutes. Then some basketball was on. Uh the Celtics, uh, they lost in a heartbreaker. All they needed was one more second. <laughs> They lost it at the bu uh, the buzzer there. That was a good game. They came back and they lost 116 to 115. So that series is tied. Uh, the Knicks they play today at 7:30 p.m. tonight. Uh, Miami's got their they need to tie that up there. Miami's got the lead in that. The Lakers or no last night the Suns they tied up the series 2-2. With the Nuggets, I, I guess, and um, over the weekend, the Lakers, they're 2-1 and one over the Warriors. I'd love to see the Warriors not make it. Probably at one time I'm rooting for uh, the Lakers. <laughs> but the Celtics, that was a heartbreaker. I thought they were going to win it. I really thought they... It just... The ball went in, but on the replay, it was obvious. He had... He, the ball was just... He was just... Just get, like, one more second, he would have had it. And uh, it was it was a pretty exciting it was a good game and stuff like that so uh, that's tied up two two as far as the Celtics can get it done they can get it done I think they had a couple bad calls there but uh, um, as far as that goes uh, let's go ahead and do the before we do the history there Chris let's go ahead and do the uh, the dinner report Chris technician is in the house so that means we can do a dinner report and uh, what did we all have for dinner last night. We, I had a good dinner. The missus made a very good dinner yesterday. Sunday dinner. What did everybody have for Sunday dinner? Anybody going to start? Chris, you still type in there or what? If not, for those folks that are watching on a replay here on Rumble and um, on YouTube, uh, we have this thing with Chris Technician. He's one of the, the individuals that are in the chat there here on Twitch. Um, we have this thing called the dinner report. We, you know, it's sort of like going back to the old Periscope days. I got to talk about Periscope too. Let me put that on my list here. Periscope. I got some opinions about a Periscope. Um, is, they used to have this thing. What's in your refrigerator? And I said I'm not going to show one in the refrigerator, but it's sort of off of that. Let's see. Uh, Let's see, Tony's the first. I thought, uh, let's see, he comes in with quarter another quarter pounder combo for McDonald's. Hey, oh, incidentally, Tony, I saw the uh, the uh, um, the uh, Instagram live there. You took your, your son to the, the that, that was cool. <laughs> they don't have those that much up here anymore. They used to have, uh, they have the rides and the boots. Those guys at the boot, they're, they, they're trying to scam you in there, and those... You can't win at those games. You stay away. It was a ten, I heard the guy say ten dollars a ball. Come on, that's ridiculous. Um, okay, Tim fan. Randy said ten day man. Okay, he probably got some an update there. Um, but Tony D had a quarter pounder combo from McDonald's. Uh, 
Tim Fan, he had pork chops, baked beans, fried potatoes. Ooh, I like that. And Mr. Jeeves, he had sweet and sour prawn with rice and uh, stir fried vegetables. And did where's Chris Technician? Did Chris Technician come in? Where's his dinner report? He's usually the first one up. Where's Chris Technician? Did he leave us? Okay. I don't like that. Is Chris Technician still in the chat? We're doing a dinner report without Chris Technician. That's not good. Chris, did he leave us? I think he left us. I think he, he left us. I don't I don't hear him. I don't see him in the chat. Don't know. I you know usually he's real responsive and stuff. What did he do? He just left us? He left us hanging. Chris Technician left us hanging on a dinner report. <laughs> Come on, Chris. He did. It's just like usually he's real responsive. If you're gonna go, let me know you're going there, dude. What's that? Uh, we'll see. Okay, the missus is up. Everybody says good morning, and she says good morning back. Randy got banned. Oh, hey, only gumbo. Yeah, we we were talking about Randy got. Yeah, no wonder. I have yeah he's banned for um, what uh, the update Tim fan gave us uh, here I guess the update it was a 30-day ban it looks like it's been shot down to a 10 day so he must have got some email so if you want to see Randy turn on your alerts for uh, YouTube and uh, he might be on kick he, you know I saw him on there yesterday on a replay I, I, I venture over there um, just to see what's going on and stuff you know if he's on there if he's got I usually watch a replay broadcast if he has them up there but he's on YouTube so um, for the next 10 days uh, just uh, highlight uh, or turn on your notification so Chris technician isn't in the dinner report you guys need to get on his case when you see him in other broadcasts say hey, I'm not really happy with that him coming in here and bailing on us as far as that goes and he left I think I'm almost positive he left. And uh, Tony D saying hi to Only Gumbo. Thank you for being here, Only Gumbo. Yeah, Randy got uh, his broadcast yesterday, um, and I was watching a broadcast. It might have been the broadcast. No, it was a broadcast before his. Uh, it was a lunch broadcast. It's something. Somebody said something, and he should have banned him and stuff like that. As far as that goes, and. Uh, um, he might have had used a, I don't know. I got a gut feeling he left. Tony, I think he left. <laughs> we'll see. We'll, I'm going to put a clock on it. If he's not back here, and I'm going to be on for another, for a little bit here. We're going to put a clock on it. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Okay, we got a clock. If we don't hear from him in the next five minutes, that means he, he left us. <laughs> I can see <laughs> Jeeve is probably text, <laughs> texting Chris. Chris, get your ass back over on Rich, Fireman Rich's broadcast. He's he's getting a little upset. <laughs> you could have some fun. He might have fell asleep. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah, he probably fell asleep. He's the first one in here, okay? Um, this is hilarious. Um well, it just gives me um, food for thought. Uh, don't start the dinner report until Chris starts it. We don't know if he's here or not. You know, it's his it's his bag. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably just ban the dinner report from now on. Don't give me no more dinner report. I'm upset. <laughs> not really, no. <laughs> you can play with that, Jeeves. Get get Chris going if he's not here. <laughs> anyway. Um, I had, I, I might as well say what I had for, because you guys did. We had, uh, what was it, chicken marinade? Mediterranean chicken on a bed of steamed spinach. Okay, chicken. Mediterranean. Mediterranean chicken. It was in the crock pot. Oh, it was good. It was good. On a bed of. Um, steamed. Steamed. Spinach. 
spinach. spinach, and it was delicious with tomatoes and stuff like that. You got them? Okay. Oh, that, you come back into the broadcast, Chris. Should I say your dinner report? I'm, I'm really upset with you, sir. You shouldn't be leaving. <laughs> Popping around. You got too many freaking broadcasts. When I'm on the broadcast, you pay attention to me and only... I'm <laughs> just kidding, Chris. <laughs> I'm just having fun. For Chris Tacticians, we got you back in here for the dinner report at least, okay? So at least I can say Chris is here for the dinner report. Um, hey, LadyCat31. No, no problem. Don't be sorry. No, I don't want to... No. <laughs> Lots of laugh. Well, sorry. I had to go to the, take care of... Oh, yeah, you take care of business. Yeah, you, you left my broadcast. I was yelling and screaming, and that was like more than five minutes ago. Usually, if you're doing something, it's an. I, I, you've been here long enough. I can tell when you probably, you're probably on somebody else's. Is Randy broadcasting right now? <laughs> oh, let's see. Chris Technician's dinner report. Uh, he had a Big Mac combo uh, for Mickey D. So Chris Technician and Tony D. They both uh, uh, put some coin in uh, McDonald's pocket there. <laughs> Go ahead and no, you're all right, Chris. I'm just having fun with it. It's all good fun, as far as that goes. Thank you for uh, for the dinner report and stuff. It doesn't feel like the dinner report unless you're here to give it. Okay, that's you're you're exclusive here for that dinner report. Okay, she said Mediterranean. Yes, yes, she did Mediterranean. I, I, I said something else. We I had Mediterranean chicken. Oh, it was good. It was good. We're gonna have uh, some of the leftover chicken. It's gonna be it's metro. It's gonna go on the next pizza. We, uh, she has that saved. We have leftovers. Uh, and Lady Cat, she comes in with, uh, she had Papa Murphy's Pizza from for dinner. Okay. Tim Fan, Burger King is closing down. Oh, is it? I heard something that uh, Burger, I haven't seen any news, but uh, somebody was, I think it was on Randy W. Horton's, one of his last Twitch broadcasts there before he got banned. And um, that, uh, Burger King wasn't doing that great. Maybe maybe it was you, Tim, on his broadcast that I saw that on a replay. You you mentioned it to him. And you heard, I haven't heard, I heard McDonald's took a hit worldwide as far as that goes. You know, people, I, don't, I didn't see any stores closing. We have a local Burger King and stuff, and they do quite well. Good morning, Thammer. Thammer coming in from Riyadh, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Thank you for being here, sir. As far as that goes, we have a full house here, and uh, wow, we're loading up here. Um, but I want to talk about this thing, uh, uh, Periscope. Um, as far as Elon Musk, uh, you know, I got to laugh you know, because uh, that's been a discussion here the last several days. Because last week, uh, was it last Wednesday? He came up on uh, what was Twitter Live, but it was actually a version of uh, Periscope 2015 piped into Twitter. And um, he was looking at the code. They found the 2015 code, which supposedly was supposed to be the last time Periscope, before Periscope's demise and when they shut down. And um, let's see, I blame McDonald's for Burger King closing. No, 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 I don't think McDonald's. Well, McDonald's has quite a few commercials there. They're closing it, it down all in Canada too. Okay, that's what I heard um, Jeeves. Um, Randy W. Horton, he mentioned that uh, Burger King is owned by the same company that owns Ted Hortons, which I know is pretty big up there, and uh, and if they're starting to filter down here in New York State, but uh, Tim Hort Ted Hortons, Tim Hortons, is a big um, uh, chain up there in uh, Canada, as far as that goes, and yeah, they're over in Buffalo too, as far as that goes, that part of the state. Uh, that's right. That's happening after I boycotted them because they gave me rotten fries. Okay, Thammer. <laughs> it's all because of Thammer. We can blame Thammer. I think that the the local Burger King we have here, their fries are, actually, they're almost better. They're better than Wendy's and uh, the local McDonald's here as far as that goes. There's a petition to sign for, yeah, I don't think the petition's going it, to, it's going to be up to Elon. Um, I was kidding, Rich. Oh, you were kidding? Okay. Uh, that was Chris Technician. I was kidding. Is American company is American company now, Tim? It's an American company now, Tim Hortons. I'm not. Sh is it? Is American company now, Tim? It could be. I don't know. You know, they just uh, you know between the United States and Canada, you know, it doesn't really make a difference. It's a it's a North American company. But uh, back to the Periscope. Um, 
Elon was on there, and he was just, I was just, I watched that, uh, I watched the replay of that uh, several times because he was just laughing. Let's see, no, Tim Hortons, a Canadian company. That's what I thought, it's a Canadian company, and they have some Tim Hortons in the United States. Yeah, they, 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 I think that's the, the thing, because Jeeves would know he's in Canada. That's the way, my take is that it's a Canadian-run company. Uh, we have some down in the Rochester and Buffalo area of New York State because they border Canada. And they, they're a pretty good place. They, they got some good food there. But Burger King, it, it's in that same conglomerate of uh, Tim Hortons, I think. Uh, and that's another, um, it's interesting the, how the Burger King came about and stuff like that from going back to that show on the History Channel. Elon doesn't like the hearts. Yeah, he doesn't like the hearts. You can get rid of the hearts. Um, I noticed on um, um, the current replay of Randy W. Hortons, if you have an Apple device, you can pop hearts on the, on the YouTube live. Which, oh, when did they do that? That was different. Um, but uh, I think Elon's given some speculation that Periscope may come back. Or else they might go ahead and, uh, but he's, he, right away, the, the thing, the takeaway, and I said this before, the, uh, yesterday or Friday when I was talking about this, the big thing, if you watch that, he is laughing his ass off at what he's seeing. And a man, to, to have an opportunity to see a billionaire genuinely laugh at something that he owns, and he says, you need to take care of that. That might give, that gives some weight that maybe Periscope might come back as far as that goes. Um, Thammer, on August 26, 2014, Burger King agreed to purchase Tim Hortons for U.S., yeah, but go go to go check and see who owns Burger King. Burger King is not a company onto its own. It's owned by another. Um, go ahead and just Google that one, Thammer. Burger King is owned by Pillsbury, I think, or somebody. They're not an entity onto their own. Um, so you know that could be where just recently they did that and stuff. So uh, because the, when Bur the guys that uh, first uh, created Burger King, they ended up selling it for a crap load of money back in sometime in the 80s and 90s it's definitely not Canadian okay I guess they they, they had oh that's 2014 Burger King agreed to purchase Tim Hortons okay it's just assumed that it is a Canadian because they're mostly up in Canada most of the that you know it's it's it I don't even I know there's a couple up like I said in the Buffalo Rochester area but we don't have them down here per se. Okay, they're mostly up in Canada. It's a Canadian. Uh, it was a, Cana a Canadian franchise. Um, it's a Canadian that aspect. The majority of the Tim Hortons are up in Canada. They're not here in the states uh, and stuff like that. They're along probably the cities that are along the Canadian U.S. border. It Canadian origin. It's Canadian origin. It's Canadian origin. Well, rich, yeah, they, they, they started in Canada and stuff like that. And that's where they got to, oh, it's in Canada. It's coming here to the United States. But, uh, um, yeah, it's Canadian origin. Yeah, it originated from point. But uh, Burger King is a subsidiary of somebody else as far as that. I don't think they're, they're not like McDonald's where McDonald's is an entity by themselves. Burger King is owned by some other company, I believe. And I could be wrong on that. You could, you could fact check me. Thammer, I won't mind. Yeah. Um, but back to Periscope. Um, my views, Periscope come back. Hey, I'm I'm for that because that's an extra uh, uh, live streaming uh, capability that's in our broadcasting uh, tool toolbox. So uh, I would love to see Periscope come back. Um, am I holding my breath? Nah. We'll see. You know, as far as that goes, uh, Elon has done some stuff with Twitter, so maybe he might do something with. Uh, but it's not going to be any time quick. Um, uh, it would be nice to see our previous platform come back, but uh, um, that would be a, a real surprise in some form or the other. And uh, on that note, and I think I said this to you, Tony D, uh, that uh, I did see a broadcast that was over. Do you have uh, caffeine, bean, in New York? I've heard of that, Thammer, but I don't... Maybe down in New York City. Tim Fan, I would love Periscope. Yeah, I would like to see it. 
And Lady Cat, I wouldn't mind Periscope coming. Yeah, I wouldn't. You know, like I said, it, it, it's a good thing to have an extra broadcasting. You know, I'm not looking at it as a negative. You know, I just like I, I thought Periscope was pretty cool. Um, I didn't use it a lot. I, I like the feature on Periscope just before they closed down, where you're as a broadcaster here, and then up here you had like you could have up to three people, voice wise. I thought that was a, a, a neat in, innovation. Okay, geez. Its own, its owner, RBI, is an American Canadian company. Okay, American co American Canadian company. Okay, so it's a combination company with its major shareholder, 3G Capital, based in Brazil. So it's a Brazilian-owned company. The main reason that 3G acquired Tim Hortons was to save over one billion in tax by moving the company, combined company headquarters, to Canada from the U.S. Well, there's high taxes here. It's Canada. They probably got a deal where uh, where they were paying higher rate for corporate. Yeah, the corporate tax here in the United States uh, when this current president came in went went up. The last president he lowered it real big, and it, it just uh, it brought everybody corporate wise back from uh, Ireland, and it really devastated the economy there. Uh, I'm sure I should sue Periscope for my depression. <laughs> Good luck with that, Tim. Um, so it's Tamar, it's Minnesota coffee shop. Oh, that's okay. I, that's why I heard it. Yeah, I'm, I was born in Minnesota. I don't. I, I think I remember my cousin saying something about that. Um, hearing about that, it's a it's a Minnesota coffee shop. It's sort of like um, a Starbucks. It's not national. Starbucks is national here in the United. Well, it's worldwide, I guess too. Starbucks. Um, do, do they have that coffee shop over there in uh, in Riyadh? Thammer, as far as that goes, is it as good? Is it a good coffee shop? So um, just to finish up on the Periscope, I'd like to see it. Okay, um, I thought it was pretty interesting. Oh, they do have it over there. Oh, that's interesting. So they're pretty. They're pretty decent. Speaking of coffee, I gotta. Get, I gotta get a refresh on my coffee here. Um, as far as that goes, but. Um, it was just funny seeing Elon laughing his ass off. I, I guess that was that was the, the freaking for me. That was fun to watch. Uh, it's good for it's good for sweet Easter. Okay, whatever sweet Easter means, I'm not sure. Um, oh God! Oh pastries. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, that makes more sense now. It's like Easter. Easter. It's just, um, it's good for sweet pastries. Okay, yeah, uh, you know, a good coffee shop has some good pastries. You know, the cafes over in Italy. Uh, there was this one in um, Aviano at a Aviano Air Base, and then you had the village of a Aviano, about uh, five miles north of Pordenone, the province of Pordenone. Um, this one coffee shop me and the missus lo loved to go to was Stradellis. Oh my God, the croissants! Oh my God, they were delicious with a cappuccino. Sweet glaze. Oh man, they're freshly baked. I mean, you walk by that place. It was like you. J they didn't need any advertisement. You walk by there. You 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 had to go in and get one. It's that type of uh, coffee shop. Um, they had a lot of little small cafes that were pretty decent over there. And uh, as far as that goes, so like I said, Periscope. We'll see what happens. Uh, time will tell as far as that goes. Uh, um, but I, I I'm taking that broadcast by Elon last week was a very as a very positive one, but like again, I just had to laugh. Um, you know, how many times do you see a billionaire laugh like that and saying, "Hey, you need to fix that." <laughs> it's just probably saying, "Is a that's a bunch of shit right there. You guys need to fix it." <laughs> and they're probably right on the job too, doing it as far as that goes. So um, it'll be interesting to say because Elon he doesn't mess around. I guess since this last uh, Starship launch, where um, the the launch site they call it um, Stage Zero. They've dug a big hole in and just wrecked everything. They're already rebuilding it. They say they can fly in like uh, another um, uh, three months or so. I think a little longer than that. I don't think the FAA is going to let them blast off another rocket yet. But that was uh, that was something to see. And they they they've got they garnished a whole bunch of information to where you know look at what they, what SpaceX when they first started how many they had a bunch of misfires you know rockets exploding and stuff before they got it right and they got it down pat. And that's what they're doing with this Starship uh, um, uh, version of uh, their, their huge rocket. And um, it just 
as far as that goes. And they said, I guess when it was launching, it, it came out as a lean. And I didn't, that didn't look right when I saw that. I like Mickey D's cappuccino is cheap for daily consumption. Yeah, it's, if you like, it, it's okay. It's, it's, all that stuff is a lot of sugar and stuff like that. You know, you know, a good, I mean, we've, I've tried, we've got a cappuccino machine, you know, we've had for years and stuff and it still is collecting dust up and up in the cupboard there. But, uh, it, 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 you have to have a good, what do they call them? Barista, uh, coffee maker, individual, make you a good cup of cappuccino. Mickey D's, they just have a standard, okay, put the coffee in and put the little cream over. Here's a cappuccino. Yeah, well, it, you know, I, I have to say, you have to have a good coffee. McDonald's coffee is good. I'm, I don't think I've ever been in a McDonald's to have a bad cup of coffee. Um, I make my own cappuccino at home. Okay. Um, and Chris Technis, I like the, yeah, the, the Mickey D's French vanilla. Uh, cup of Joe. Yeah, Mr. G's. Cup of Joe. We like Cup of Joe. Cup of Joe is a good guy. Uh, let me see. Let's. What do we have for um, the history here? Um, our good news history. Let's see. Uh, uh, what did he discover? I have a Nespresso machine. I've seen those too. Yeah. The the thing. I don't know. I I don't really. I guess what. I never really tried that product before Erica and it's just the fact that I'm not really a uh, George Clooney fan I liked them in uh, uh, Oceans the Ocean 11 8 11 and 12 movie 13 but uh, him endorsing a product I don't know uh, it's he's got some money involved in that and stuff just like with that vodka or not vodka uh, tequila farm that he's got let's see now McDonald's have their own coffee brew. oh do they Okay, you have to, okay, to make a cappuccino. Let's see, back in 1912, the film studio Paramount Pictures um, was founded. And then they, the Paramount Pictures, I have Paramount Plus. Uh, They're good. I use the original pods on the, okay, on the, 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 the Presso machine, okay. I've got Paramount Plus. They're good uh, on the TV back here. We watch it, Paramount Plus. I love it. C they have all the old CBS shows. But Paramount Pictures, they had The Godfather, Titanic, Indiana Jones, and uh, Shrek. Um, they were founded on this day back in 1912. They also uh, produced the, 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 the um, Maverick, uh, Top Gun Maverick. And I just got word that uh, um, on Paramount Plus, May 16th, Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, Pulp Fiction too. That's true, Tamara. Pulp Fiction. That was a that that was a that by that when that first came out, I'm like, wow. You know that that's that that was a pretty, uh, um, and it still is. I guess some parts of it. It's a little scary movie, but uh, Dungeons the latest Dungeons and Dragons. From what I've seen, and I could be wrong on this. It's supposed to come out. It's a Paramount uh, production. It's going to be coming out on Paramount Plus. I saw Tank Titanic twice in the theater when it came out. It was uh, cheaper. Yeah, theaters, yeah. Movies, it's... I don't know. I'd, um, from what I heard, uh, and I, I think... Uh, oh, this was on Nonsensical Nonsense again, to give them a plug. They were talking about the latest uh, Volume 3 of Guardians of the Galaxy. And um, I think Jeff... Uh, one of the uh, broadcasters there, he was saying, "You bring you bring your tissues," and I was like, oh, "I don't think I'm going to go see that movie then. If it's a if it's a tear jerker, I I don't want to be in a theater. I I can't. I don't like that. I it's like I'm going like this. I'm trying not to cry, and you can't. You got to cry. Um, so that, that I'm going to probably wait for that to come to uh, the thing there. Um, let's see. Okay, on this day. Um, someone that we've had quotes from before here for our thought for today. Mahat Gandhi began a 21-day fast to protest the British oppression in India back in 1933. In 1970, the Beatles' album Let It Be was released on this day in 1970. And then on this day, in 1978, the first ascent of Mount Everest without, oh, without supplemental oxygen was achieved by um, Rehold 
Mesner and Peter Habler. I guess they didn't have when you when you climb that there's hardly any oxygen, so they have uh, they they take the oxygen with you. I like Let It Be, good song. Yes, it is a good song. Um, let's see, going down this list. Happy birthday to uh, Sir David Attenborough, the legendary natural naturalist, broadcaster, and producer who created and wrote the uh, the influential documentaries Life on Earth. That's he's and uh, the life of birds among the others um very influential his voice is is i love his voice it's very good there in the wild we see i can't i can't do it i can't do it he's uh um let's see what do we have over on the ap on this day back in 19 19, what was the day? Um, 19, uh, May 8th, 1945, uh, President Truman sit before a microphone holding a speech and uh, he had finished reading an announcement to the nation that Allied armies have won unconditional surrender from the German forces on all fronts. It's a day uh, uh, President Truman announced the Nazis surrendered, and that was uh, the beginning of the end. And then it was it wasn't until August 5th, after they dropped the two nuclear bombs on Japan, that Japan surrendered. So um, the war went. Let's see, May, be June, July. So it was almost almost two and a half months. Have you? S he has good new documentary. Oh, about the Red Sea. Oh, okay. I gotta check that out. Yeah, that's he. He is a interest. He. I'm just fixated when I, 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 you know, just like he just draws you in with that voice, and it's just a very anything he does is very interesting. I mean, it's it's phenomenal. Um, a very good uh, individual there. Um, Oh, let's see. What else do we have? Yeah, announced on the radio. Oh, on this day, 1973, militia American uh, American Indians who had held uh, the South Dakota hamlet of Wounded Knee was forced uh What did they hit who had held the south? Oh, they surrendered. Okay, after 10 weeks at Wounded Knee. That was uh, back on this day in 1973. I remember that. That was pretty big news back then. The American Indians, militant American Indians, they held the South Dakota hamlet of Wounded Knee for 10 weeks. And then they finally surrendered and stuff like that. I guess they didn't like that. It's just like... Um, in 1948, the, the Soviet Union on this... or No, eight, yeah, 1984, the Soviet Union announced on this day and announced it would boycott the upcoming Summer Olympics in Los Angeles. Okay, who cares? Um, uh, let's see, what else do we have? And... Same one country. Let's see, Thammer. I like the guy who commented the documentary. Very apocalypse. Really good. Yeah, that is. Yes, it is. Okay, that's all we got for uh, good history. That well, talking about wounded knee. That's not good history, but that's history nonetheless. And I'm a history buff. I love history because we learned from it. Let's see. What is the new Tom Hanks movie? called it is uh i think that's it's on netflix now yeah it's otto o-t-t-o -T -T that's supposed to be pretty good tom hanks is a good guy i like tom hanks he's a stand-up guy it's, i i think the last we watched his movie uh um was it last weekend the missus and me was charlie's war charlie wilson's war i think it was let me check that out charlie's was it, which is a true story it's a congressman charlie wilson who uh 
he, uh, when the, the Soviet Union was in Afghanistan, the United States backed the, uh, um, we actually backed uh, Al-Qaeda and uh, ISIS, I don't know, Al-Qaeda and the Taliban to fight against the Soviets. And we didn't do our due diligence afterwards. We just said, okay, the Soviets pulled out and the big, you know, and Charlie Wilson was trying to get help for hospitals to be built there and stuff like that. And there's, here they are, they're spending billions of dollars to get the, the Soviet Union out. And then when the war's all over, I, I, at the end of the movie, um, you know, Charlie Wilson's advocating, hey, we need a couple million for a hospital. Well, why is that? The Soviet Union's it. That's all we care about. You got to have some follow-up afterwards. And that was the, Tom Hanks was outstanding in uh, Cloud Atlas. I don't think I've seen that movie. Um, it's English version of Swedish, Swedish film, Tamer said. Okay. Um, I like Private Ryan, Lady Cat says, and I watched Otto last night, was very good. Okay, Tim, I, I'm, I'm, that's on my list there because that's on Netflix right now. I got to look for the Dungeons and Dragons movie, though. I'm, a, I'm a, I used to do the um, Dungeons and Dragons on, they had a um, uh, a d and d version for the Commodore 64. I'm age dating myself. I love that game. I, you know, you, 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 you you know, it's one of those games where you're... If they're not as graphic as they are now, like my Lord of the Rings. The Lord of the Rings is just stunning as far as... If you watch my replays of my Lord of the Rings, uh, this last Lord of... It's just... It's eye candy as far as that goes. Back then, you just got characters on a you know 8-bit uh, computer. <laughs> it was pretty... It was fun, though. It was fun. Um, they met, Lady Cat, they mentioned that game on uh, Stranger Things. Oh, okay, Dungeons & Dragons. And let's see, Chris Technician, I want to go see the new Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Well, according to uh, Jeff over there on Nonsensical Nonsense, you better bring some tissues because it's a, it's a tearjerker, he said. Um, I would love to watch Star Wars, but boy, it's it's big marathon to watch all the... Yeah, that it gets... There's so many of them and stuff. I'm, I just... I see them in the, the TV guide, and I just like, no, I'm not going to... Now the older ones, the very first two or three, I'll, I'll I'll click and watch them. But the newer ones, I like. I don't want to invest my time there and stuff. Um, Chris Technician from Tin Fan, that was good too. Okay, so you saw Guardians, Tim. Is it a tearjerker like uh, Jeff from Nonsensical Nonsense says there it is? As far as that goes. Let's see. How is our stream doing? Oop, what happened to it? Am I up? Okay, let's see. We're sitting at 25, oh, 2,500 baht. That's not bad. Um, yeah, the new Guardian movie is the last one. So they say, you know, just like uh, there's talk about bringing Iron Man back, which, so Tim says, yep, it, okay. It's a tearjerker, okay. All right. The broadcast is doing pretty good. So I think staying at 30 frames per second is 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 pretty decent. And, okay, I'm seeing KBS is 26 on the old. Okay, so that's, I'm doing 2,600 KBS according to OBS. But on the, uh, let's see, I've got this set up uh, over here on the, uh, on the, uh, Oh, what is it? This is the uh, Twitch uh, stream health. It says 24, 2500. So that's about about right as far as that goes. No, th I, I did try 60 frames per second uh, Saturday on the Lord of the Rings game. And it, it chopped me out three times. It's an hour. I, it, I, I, I repurposed it on Rumble and YouTube. It's uh, three 30 minute. It's a total of an hour and a half. Um, but I, I, I got disconnected and reconnected twice at 60 frames per second. It's still a good broadcast. It just, uh, for some reason, I guess because I'm a rural area, the internet, I don't think it was OBS. I think it has something to do with the, uh, um, you know, my machine is almost more powerful than my internet and stuff. 30 p and then yesterday I was on for an hour and I didn't have any problem. Um, so I'm going to stay at 30, p uh, 30 frames per second. I don't think there's that much difference from 30 uh, from 30 uh, frames per second to 60 when I look at the replay. 
Um, so I'm real happy. I, I, I actually, last night I got a, uh, a notice from, uh, from Amazon as far as uh, how I'm rating my, uh, my computer that I received, my night, uh, a, uh, Acer Nitro 50. Um, and I, I gave them five stars plus. I said, this is uh, it's just uh, phenomenal. Maybe your internet uh, can't handle it. No, it can handle it. It just it has interruptions in it. It's not consistent, okay? You know, that's the thing when you get, you know, how, how consistent is your telephone? Is your tele, your telephone is only consistent as, as good as your, uh, you are near a, um, a, a, t a cell tower. It's the same thing with a hard wire as far as that goes. Um, my internet can handle 60 frames per second, no problem, because I had it for 30 minutes and went out and then came back. It, it just, uh, you know, the system there and stuff like that. Uh, Thammer, I'm waiting for Martin Soros's movie, movie De Niro. Waiting for De Niro and Leonardo DiCaprio. What movie is that, Thammer? Martin Soros, he's a he's a big uh, director there. I want the air movie with Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. I'm not. Re I'm not really a Ben Affleck. I like Matt Damon. I'm not a Matt. I'm not a, a Ben Affleck fan. He's a little wonky. After he did the Batman, he he shouldn't have been Batman. He he doesn't. He's uh, George Clooney is more of a Batman than him. I think. I don't really care for Aunt Ben Affleck. He's this. Um, who is the best Batman? Um. Probably uh, Michael. Um, was it Michael Caine? The, fair, the first guy. He was pretty decent. Um, as far as that goes. So, But as far as movies, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing... Uh, uh, let's see. Thammer. I just installed Mesh Router in my house last week. Improved the internet pretty good. Okay. Michael Keaton. Thank you, Lady Cat. Yeah, Michael Keaton. I liked him. Um, they say he might make a comeback for Batman. I, I, did I hear something? I... I almost want to say I heard something where he might come back as a Batman. I just, that I liked him. Michael Keaton is a good actor. He did, um, as far as that goes, and he did a uh, what was a movie he did about McDonald's. He he, he played uh, Ray Kroc, as far as the development of McDonald's and stuff. That was a good movie too. It, it gave you some insight about what McDonald's was. I wasn't too happy with Ray Kroc. He was a freaking he, he was a businessman, but he was a cutthroat. Uh, yes, Michael Keaton is back as Batman in the Flash movie. Oh, okay, so, oh, he, okay, Chris, thank you. The Flash movie, okay, that's the, that's the latest movie that, okay. Yeah, Michael Keaton, I like Michael Keaton as Batman. I, I, I think he was, uh, he was pretty good. He was a little comical and stuff. Not as serious as that, the one guy there that had the, the series. Oh, God, what's his name? And he really played a good Batman. It was, you know, it's just, uh. But when you get so many of them, it's, it's like the James Bond movie. After, uh, um, um, what's his name? The original um, guy who played uh, uh, 007. They had all these other variations. Like, nah. Um, God, what was that? What was his name? Um, movie. Who is the actor? I like the original Batman movie the best, I think. Yeah. But you had, uh, was it Daniel Craig was the latest? Uh, Piercy Borson. Who is that one um, actor? Oh, Roger Moore. Roger Moore. I liked Roger Moore. Percy Bresson. He was, eh. Sean Connery. Oh, no. Sean Connery. He was the original. Yeah. The British man. Yeah. Sean Connery. He was the original one. Um, and then Roger Moore was okay. But then they had Piercy uh, Bronson. Daniel Craig, he was all right. 
You know, he, he he didn't bring. I don't think he really brought anything to the movie. What was the movie that he was just in? I've been watching Poker Face on Peacock. Oh, okay, I don't really watch that much Poker Face or uh, Peacock. That is. Let's see. What was Daniel? Uh, Dave, I tell you the Daniel Craig movie that I liked. We saw both of them. Um, what was this movie? Um, oh. Glass Onion, the two Glass Onion movies. He he's he's great as that uh, detective. I love that. That if you haven't seen Glass Onion, that's a movie to watch. It's a 2002. Um, and was it the original? The first one was Knives Out. Was 2019, and then uh, Glass Onion. Those are two great movies, as far as that goes. And uh, I thought he was great. I hope there's a third one for that, as far as that goes. So. Um, but we're, oh wow, we've been talking for quite a bit here. We've been on for an hour and um, 18, going on 19 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and uh, exit stage left here, folks, as far as that goes. Uh, uh, I think it's time to get the day started. And um, uh, let's see, I like that movie, Sheen did, it's called Family Business, I guess one of his best. Yeah. And good morning. She said good morning also, Lady Cat. She was in here. Uh, Chris Technician, you have a great great Monday also. Um, and as always, Bazanga. Thank you, Chris. And uh, I want to say thank you for all. You have a great day also, Lady Cat. And um, let's see. For those that uh, came in, let's see. I would like to say, let's see. Let's do it this way. Let's see, where did we start here? Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Tim Fan. Thank you, Tony D, who's in the house. Thank you, Only Gumbo was here, as far as that goes. Uh, thank you, Thammer, for being here. Thank you, Lady Cat. Uh, who else? Let's see. Jeeves, yeah, thank you, Jeeves. Thank you, Tim Fan. Uh, for all being here in the chat, I greatly appreciate it as far as that goes. And uh, enjoy your Monday, you too, Thammer. Tony coming in with the second Bazenga. And uh, we're going to go ahead and exit stage left here as far as that goes. And um, get our day started. And uh, we'll see what the day brings. You all have a great one. This is Rich Roberts, Fireman Rich here on the Twitch as well as at Fireman Rich over there on Twitter, where I told myself as a social media observer, social media enthusiast. Uh, in other words, I just like being here on the internet. And I got some people that are over there in the chat, wherever the chat's at, um, that like listening to this bonehead just yap, 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 yap early in the morning, drinking the morning coffee. And I appreciate it, guys. All right, so you all have a great one wherever you may be on this big blue marble. Live life, have fun, ciao for now. As always, peace. Take care, folks, and thanks again all in the chat. You guys are fantastic. Have a great one, folks.